Alright, you lot. Now, I'm just going to uh, clean up this dartboard. A bit old, this dartboard. Um, my, dad, my dad gave it to me uh, when I was quite an early teenager. I was probably, I don't know, about 12 or 13 or so. And he said he got it when he used to work in a dartboard factory when he was a teenager. So this is 40, 45 years old, probably, maybe even 50. Uh, it hasn't really particularly been looked after. It probably wasn't looked after when he had it. Well, he may have looked after it, but um, it was sat in my garage on the wall when I lived with them. And when I moved out, it stayed in there. And now it's been on the wall in here for many years. You know, it's been here for probably, well, I don't know, eight years on that wall there. It's covered in cobwebs, as I'm sure you can see. It's got cobwebs all hanging off of it. It's got wood dust on it and all sorts. Uh, every month or so, you're supposed to keep the dartboard nice and moist. But I haven't, I haven't. In fact, I've lost, a, I've lost me darts. I had a lot. I had quite a few darts. Let's zoom in a little bit on that there. I had quite a few darts. I've lost them all. But I've got my air gun. I'm going to blow all the dust off and the cobwebs, and uh, a bit of clean up, and uh, I'll show you what to do next. got a, a light brush it's a very uh, soft brush now I don't know of any specific oh I don't know of any specific ways um, to actually clean a dartboard but I've blown up because it's you know it's got loads of holes in it loads and loads of holes in it um, from various people, probably including me, throwing darts at it and uh, and all that. Uh, on this one, I don't think this is a professional dartboard though. Well, it might be. It might have been a professional dartboard back then. Um, it's made in England. It's definitely, it definitely says made in England because obviously I don't know where the dartboard factory was, but it couldn't have been far away from here. I don't think my dad ever went very far. I'll have to ask him. But yeah, that's most of it clean. But the professional ones now, well the nowadays anyway, you can take the number ring off and uh oh look little pegs come out here. Yeah. Let's go and get a hammer. Let me just get a hammer, hold on. Anyway, what was I saying? You can take the numbers off. Let's just put that back in there. Or maybe what you have to do with these, you know, perhaps you have to take the peg, take the little pins out and uh, rotate the numbers. But as far as I know, the modern day dartboard, and I only know this because I was in a pub once and I was talking to a bloke and he was telling me, uh, you take the, the little clips around them and you take them off and then you rotate the board because you're going to get wear on certain numbers where people would hit more often, like 20 or whatever. So you so you wrote you take the numbers off and you rotate the board a bit and then you put the numbers back so the twenties at the top again. Uh, but you can't do that with this one because it's held on by a little hanger at the top there. It's hang, hanged up by a little hanger at the top there, and also there's not clips. They're pinned in with nails. The the numbers and all that are pinned in, are clipped in with nails. So. So yeah. Anyway. Then you just get some water in a little spray bottle, and uh, oh, that's not that's not on a spray. I'll run. Let me get it on a spray. There we go. And you just got to spray it to keep it moist. You don't need to saturate it. This needs. I'm going to put a bit extra on here because. <laughs> It ain't been done for quite some time. But uh, now, what I was told was I've never done it, and I'm not going to do it. I might do it with this one. Where are we at? Focus again. 
I might do it with this one if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't turn out very good. But you can take the board down and put it on a flat surface and get water and paint water on it with a paintbrush. And then it what it does is it all kind of seals up all the holes because there's quite a lot of holes on this board because this obviously as the dark goes in it makes a bit of a hole. But there we go. That's my dart board all clean. I need, to, I need to find some more darts. I need to find me darts, man. I love playing darts. Playing, I like. I just really enjoy playing darts, but I never, never really played it. I used to play it when I used to live um, back at with my mum and dad. I had it in the garage. I had two sets of darts, and I used to just sit in the garage and just play darts with myself. But there we go. I let that. I let that go now, and I'll, I'll keep it moist. It might need. It might need a bit more restoration on it get rid of all the holes I don't know perhaps anyone can give me some tips in the comments you know how can I repair it let me show you what I mean look yeah hopefully uh, there's enough light let me just uh, sort of focus it out on this um, there we go yeah you see pro dart and uh, it's got loads of holes on it because um well no one looked after it you know but I do know that if you keep it moist that'll uh, the holes will seal up because what happens is that it swells up and fills in the holes so I think in a professional in a, like in a pub or in a professional dark area or whatever they do it once a month I believe but I only know these things about doing that because, like I said, I was in a pub one day. I don't really go to pubs at all. But I was in a pub. It was on... Uh, we were doing a pub crawl for a, uh, a brother-in-law's thing. And uh, there was a load of people playing darts in the pub. And there was this bloke... You know what it's like sometimes when you go in a pub and you always get this one bloke that clings to you and he's telling you all this stuff. And then I, and he said, you ever play darts? I said, no, but I do quite like darts. And then I asked him, I said, what do you have to do with the ball? Do you know, do you have to replace them or whatever? And he was like, no, they'll last for years and years. All you've got to do is keep them moist. He said, just get a spray bottle and keep it moist. Once a month, just spray it with water once a month and it'll keep it moist. And then when you get your holes where your darts go in, they'll just they'll fill up. They'll, they'll it'll swell up and it'll, you know, won't have any more holes. So I learned that from a random bloke in a pub. I don't even go to pubs that often. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, uh, any more tips and any more tips on how I can, uh, you know, sort of make this board nice again? Uh, if those holes don't fill up from the water I've just sprayed on it, um, yeah, please leave them in the comments because I'd really appreciate that because I'd like to make this board, um, you know, last another forty odd years if I can. It doesn't. It doesn't have a year or anything on it. The back of it's wood. And behind it's wood, um, but there's no stamping or nothing on it to say when it was actually made, like the year on it or the date or anything. But um, yeah, there we go, my friends. Nice little tarpaul. <laughs>